Well, hello, everybody. Um, it's time for Sherlock Holmes Detective Journal Part 4. Uh, this time, right now, when I'm starting this video, I'm going to be working on embellishments, tags, things like that to go in to the journal. I've got kind of a mess. I've started on a little bit of it because, you know, I'll go over it. But, uh... Yeah, you know, sometimes you just feel like getting out and doing something even when you're bored. So the tags that I picked out in the last video, I went ahead and just ran, did some stamping on them, you know, to give them a little bit of background before I put anything on them. This one I may leave as is because it's a great journal card on both sides. And I also ink the edges on all of them. Give them a little bit of oomph. So I did start putting some things on this one. I didn't. I did this before I stamped it, so I'll probably stamp the back. But uh, yeah, I haven't decided what I'm going to use as um, you know as an embellishment to go at the end of the tag. But we'll figure that out as we go. All right. Um, I did pop out all those little. Uh, ephemera pieces that came from um, uh, what do you call it? Wow, Kelly, use your words. You know these things that popped out? So, I popped all of these out. And the other one, you know. I've, I've bought these before and a lot of times I don't know I ended up not using them only because before you know in other journals because um, I just didn't know what to do with them and a lot of times you know they come double-sided you know like this one and this one and you put it together I don't like it that way I like it that way and then it's kind of hard to put it inside unless you use it as a tuck you know, like you tuck it in a pocket and then you can pull it out, which would be kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. Ugh. Now, I didn't do my white one, or my black one, because, you know, I just, I love doing this one. So, I'm going to do this on camera. I've only got this little container just to hold it all in one spot while I'm using it, and then I'll put it back in the right spot when I'm done. But. Okay. Oh, I hope I get it right. So, have you guys had a good day so far? Mine's been kind of a lazy day. Oh, that's kind of nice. I don't know what else we're going to put with that, but I may just leave it as is and then put something else on this side. All right, I don't want to smear that, so we'll set that aside for a minute. get a baby wipe so I can clean off the stamp. Yeah, I didn't, you know, do any video hopping or anything like that last night. Uh, I've been trying to go back on live streams and things like that, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. this on there though. I think I like this clock one. Let's do it on this side. Make sure I got it good and good and juicy. Good and juicy. Let's put it right in the middle. Why not?
there we go. That came out really nice. That's a good, clear, crisp image. Come on. There we go. See, look at that. That came out really nice. Okay, so we did the stamping. Wipe that off. And let's see. Do I want to put anything on this? There's the sign of the four. No, I don't really know what I want to do with this one yet, so I'm going to set that one aside. Figure we can work on these. This one, like I said, I may leave as a, just a journal card, so we'll put him aside. Let's see, I got all these little goodies, and I don't quite know what to do with them all. Cool. That one matched the center one on the on that one I did this. This one it says I'm dying to meet you. So I may just leave him as a tag hanging or put him somewhere else. I'm not quite sure about that one. Puppy, puppy, little puppy, are you awake? <laughs> no. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and close these up. I went ahead and ran some glue. And uh, let me put the big one down here. And we will hold it. Until the glue sets. And then we'll have a little pocket to tuck things in. I might as well glue the others while we're here. Get them all closed up. I could probably use tape, but I don't really want to. side. Wow. I've made quite a mess up here, I believe, so. When I was punching out all those circles and scallops and things like that, and I just didn't clean it all up. my little project box for the stuff that I'm using you know during the during my project but I don't want it all over the desk so I'm going to oh, put it aside and now you get it all out of it I don't know if you guys had seen one of my other videos, but uh, you know how sometimes you end up collecting punches, and when you buy them, you think, "Oh, this is a really great idea," you know. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for this, and I'm gonna use it for this, and I'm gonna get so many of these, and then 
they sit in a box and you only bring out one or two. <laughs> like me, I think the only ones I normally use are my, uh, my circle punches, my tag punch, you know, which doesn't even give me a big tag. It gives me a tag about yay size. My scallop punch and uh, my steampunk punch, my gear punch, which is this one. Um, this one's kind of cool. Just line it up. There we go. First punch right there. And then you just line it up. Oops. There we go. It's not, you know. It's not perfect, but it's kind of cool. Okay. And there we go. That's kind of cool. Let's drop that one away. But yeah, then you end up with a box full of punches that you don't that you don't ever use. At least I don't. Some people probably do. one left to glue but I'm kind of out of clips at the moment so I'll put that one aside alrighty so while those are drying there's that I'm dying to meet you one this one it's elementary I don't like that that much this one will work It's just going to be that one says it's elementary and you know what's cool is even when I was saying in one of my first videos about the the actor who played Sherlock the one I my favorite one is basil basil tomato tomato Rathbone and on this graphic that guy right there, who plays Sherlock, him, I don't know if I can get him up close enough, but he looks, and you can't see it, come on, focus, focus, anyways, if you can get up really close, he looks like Basil Rathbone, Basil, I think they pronounce it Basil, but I don't know, I'm not his mama, I didn't name him. Okay, 
Actually, I believe this I'm going to use as a tuck. Some of these, yes, I'm going to use as a tuck. Only because, you know, I can put this right here. That says the game. Okay. Don't like that there. Don't quite like that there, like that. That maybe? No, I don't like that either, so I'm going to put that one aside. Ah, where's that one? There it is. I found some, it's like a dusty purple. I'm not even quite sure what you, what color this would be. You can tell. Um, it is, it is a purplish, but it's like a smoky purple that I thought would work, you know, wow, Kelly, use your words. The little tie thingies that go in the holes at the end of the paper things that we call tags, duh, wow, whoops, now I got glue chasing me. Okay, that one should be done. Yeah, see, like clues. I tuck that in there like that, which I'm sure that's what it's for, right? that one. Actually, that one works a little better. Okay. That one's still drying. And we have one more to glue. So, this right here, and this right here. little extra small pieces. Actually, let's get that out of here. Get that out of here. That I could probably make some clusters, some Sherlock Holmes journal clusters, which I may go ahead and just do using some of these punches that I've punched out. black. Let's see. A couple scallops. A couple smaller tags. Now mind you, I could probably go all out and add a whole bunch of, you know, other stuff, but I'm just using right now what we've got. Having a hard time with the elbow. Don't know what I did when we moved. 
but it's not been giving me a good way to go since then. So what are we going to start with on a tag or on a cluster? So let's just grab first thing. We'll grab this. We'll put that on it. I don't have my stapler. Usually I just use a lot of staples too. And then I cover it up. I'm just put that one right in the middle. This is going to stink. And I'll trim it when I'm done. Well, might as well just trim it now. All I'm doing is just throwing things together, that's all. And throw a little bit more glue on there. I don't have anything else that I normally put in my clusters, you know, like pieces of lace or fabric or um, anything else. So I may decide I'm not even going to use this. <laughs> I know after all of that, right? But a cluster is a cluster, and you use what you got just to use up your scraps without throwing them out. And that's how it's supposed to go, which is kind of like these paper pebbles, which you just throwing together pieces. Ah, uh, let's see. Now we want to put some ephemera on it. Do we want that one? Okay, let's see. We'll put a little clues thing going that away. I'll set that one aside for a minute. Like I said, I'm just kind of throwing things together, not really, not really attempting much. No, that, ha, I was going to use that one and it's already attached. Okay, let's see. Put that one right in the middle. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Not on the cluster part. Um, you know, maybe at another time, but... This one's just not quite doing it for me. Not this go round. Ouch. Scissors. I'm kind of at a loss when it comes to embellishments a lot of times. Because I really, I'm just not very good at it. 
See, now I like that right there. So we'll put this one says the victim. To game the victim. Now if I could find one that just says the clues, that would be cool. I don't know. What's that one? No. Alrighty. Well. There's Professor Moriarty. Okay, that one says the sign of the four. That one is a little bit of a... I'm just not happy with this. Maybe because I don't have enough on it? I don't know. I might just cut all those off. Yep, all that for nothing, but that's okay. I like what's left. And I could probably add to it. Yeah. We need something else that'll go in there. Oh, let me pause this and I'm going to grab my my ribbons and gadgets box. And we'll see what we can't put in the whole thingies at the end of the paper cutouts that we call tags, right? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. We've got some eyelash trim. I don't know. That's a little bit bright for me. Let's see what else we have. We have some gold, which actually might work. Now these, a lot of people say they have a hard time finding it. I got these. It's called Fun Fur at the Dollar Tree. Okay, for a dollar. There's one dollar. And they had different kinds. So that's a really good buy. And there's a purple. Ooh, I may use the purple. Okay, let's see what else. There's a real pretty lime green. And there's some that, which doesn't really match. That does though. And then I've got not I'm not quite lime green. I've got a darker green. Which might work mixing with the others. So but I've also got this I'm not even sure what it's called, but it's like unfinished. Uh, loom twine or something like that you know where it's gone through a loom or and it's not it hasn't been uh, finalized it's like raw raw jute I like that too uh, let's see and I got other little ones not much but okay we'll try these see how these work Oops, some screen. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
Now all I'm doing is I'm going to cut a bunch of lengths. And if I want more, I'll get more, but for all intents and purposes. And yeah, I'm cutting them way longer than they need to be, but I'd rather cut them a little bit longer than not long enough. Different textures and different um, colors that complement work really well together as far as um, doing these tag things. So on the emboss, these <laughs> words, Kelly, rewind. Okay, on embossing thread, if I didn't want to separate it, like you know how sometimes. If any, if you no cross stitch or needle stitch, when you buy embossing thread, it comes like this, but it'll tell you to use five strands, three strands, two strands, one strand, and then you split it up and you use that many strands in your, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, which is not a very good thing if you can't see it. Anyway, but you can pull the strands out and just use only one or two. That's that's the ticket with embossing thread. So if I use it for anything else, I'll usually not not the ends because it unravels really easy for that reason. So I'll get one. Let me grab a green. And yes, I'll probably I will have to trim these. I'm not worried about that. Let's see. I'll trim it when I'm done. And I will grab a purple. And then one of oh, where's the other? One of these. And then one of these. Okay. Now I'm not going to trim it just yet. But what I did was I kind of, at least on one end, I put all the ends matching on one end. So any leftover on this end, I'm not cutting, you know, like here and here. Let's do it. Okay. Some people might do this one at a time. I figure rip the band-aid off and let her scab. <laughs> Extra, you can cut off. 
that. Uh, I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool. You can see it better without all the garbage behind it. The light's not giving you very good color, but it's really pretty. All right, so there's one. These little pieces. I have no idea why I cut all that right away, but that's okay. I'll just put it back here. So here's this one. Where's the other tags? Oh, there's one. There's one, there's one, there's one. Where's my black one? Oh. oh here they are. I knew I wasn't done. Okay. Okay, these two are finished. This one, not yet, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll put those aside and we'll do these. I knew I had more tags that were ready to go because I didn't want to do anything else on this and leave this as a, a journal tag, you know. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to do all of them this time. Yeah, I kind of like that a little better. Alright, so we'll put that one there. And we'll take the purple. Oh, come on. The purple or green. And we'll do the yarn. Nope, I missed one. Okay, that's the only caveat or drawback to using more than one. Sometimes one will just slip through the cracks and you won't make it. All is not lost. All is not lost. Let me just do it again. Come on. Okay, that one just does not want to play. There we go. Okay. That's more like it. 
if, yeah, there we go. Whew. Thought I was going to have to do major surgery on that one. Less fuzz. See if that helps us out some. Instead of two or three fuzzies, we'll just do one fuzzy. And I'm going to use the green one. There. Okay. <clears throat> and there we go. All right, now we still have two more to put the ends on. I'm not quite sure how I want to do this one. That one looks so cool. something see if this will work well, I kind of like that so and I'm not going to trim it I'm going to leave it as is let it hang off the edge Maybe. <laughs> That's a perfect little journal card right there. So maybe not. Do it on this side. No. I don't know. I just really like that tag the way that is. I'll do it this way. Tag it on. No, because you can write there. Alrighty, alrighty. I'll figure it out. That's the fun in doing these things, right? Or we just take it as is. And let me see which one needs a little bit of help. Oh, now see that one didn't even stay. All right. Yep, kind of have to glue it as well. Oh, now it wants to stay? See, tape doesn't always work by itself, but neither does glue sometimes, so doing it together is usually a better bet. And I'm glad we peeked so I can make sure other way. There we go. So I can make sure this was staying where it needed to be. That. All right. 
Alrighty, so we'll let this one dry and we will look at the next. Okay, this one kind of needs a little bit of help. Yeah. So what we'll do is I will put that right there. Okay, I have a little piece left here. Huh, I just had my tape. There it is. I knew it was here. So came up with uh, another thought I was going to add to this journal. Let's see. There we go. Put that one right there. That's kind of cool. Hey, baby. What time is it? Wow, you're home from school early. Mm-hmm. What uh, city do we live in? We live in Sykeston. Why? Uh, is, are you sure it's not St. Charles? Honey, I'm sure we don't live in St. Charles. Or Sullivan or Rolla or Stratford. No, that's Rolla's about four hours from here. If I'm not mistaken. Four, maybe five. We're in Sykeston. If you're looking for weather, they usually give it to us for Cape Girardeau or Paducah. If you're looking for the, you know, the weather. Well, that works really well. Yes, baby. Why? Sorry. Are you ordering pizza? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm pausing here for a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Grandson just got home from school, and we had to decide what we were going to do for dinner, and he wants pork chops, so I had to pull some out and start sawing them. Yeah, I like, I need to do something on the front, I think. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. It's just one of those things where you kind of get the whim and the, the feel of it. Let's see how this one is. Okay, much better, much better. All right, now this is the one I believe... Yeah, I'm going to try something. Now, whether it works, I don't know, but you know, hey, it is what it is, right? Let's see, one, two, three. I need to figure out which papers I'm going to use. I haven't really used any of these, so we'll pull that one out. Ooh, here's one we have not used, so we'll pull that one out. There's another one we have not used. Let 
me see. I believe okay. we don't really need spider webs, do we? It's not really Halloween thingy. Hmm. We might use this side as background. Not sure. Let me put those aside. And we will trim the pages of those we decide we're going to use. So we'll put that up for just a second. Now some paper cutters will work really well and do more than two sheets at a time, but for me on something like this I'd rather just be really careful and do one at a time. That way it doesn't dull my, my cutting blade. Perfect, perfect. Uh, but let's see what we're going to use with it. Okay, let's start with this one. We need at least four and a half wide. Four and a half. I can only get two. So let's see. Four and a half, we'll do a little bit lower than four and a half, like maybe four and seven eighths. Six eighths. No, that's all right. And one more. Four and a half. Okay, there we go. And this is scrap we'll set aside. Put it over there. So it should be 12 inches. Yeah, so 12 divided by 3 is 4. We'll do 4 inch sections. And there is truly a method to my madness. So we have four and a half wide. I believe, let me see. I'm really bad about this. So, nope. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it'll have to be, yeah, this way. No, don't hate me, don't hate me, don't hate me, but I'm really going to be trying something here. Okay. Now this, I'm doing it long ways because I'm going to try and make a flip. So I'm going to give me a half an inch, oops, wrong side. 
Okay, I want a half an inch. And do it this way because I need one on one side and one on the other. I'm just going to set here for just a minute and let it let the glue catch. And that's going to go there. And then this one is going to go right underneath it. So it'll be a three flip fold right here with one spider sticking out. Just like that. So what do you think? Think that looks all right? <sighs> I think it looks cool. And then we can put stuff in here. So the game is afoot. I really want to add this, but it's kind of too big. So I might stick it in my printer and like shrink it. In fact, while that's setting, let me grab my external hard drive. I will plug that in and I will print out a smaller copy. I got this thing right here. It's a two terabyte external hard drive. I keep all my crafts, graphics, my even my YouTube videos. I keep copies of my YouTube videos on this so it doesn't clog up my laptop. So we're going to have some wiggles for a second because I have to unplug my mouse. So I can plug this in. And it's going to wiggle a little. There we go. Alrighty. So let me pause this for just a minute. I will be right back. Okay, you guys are not going to believe this, but it ended my video when I tried to um, pause it to take copies or to make a copy. Where'd it go? Here it is. So I hope when I splice these two together, there's not too much of a, a break. Right. But I did print it out a little bit smaller, obviously. So use that somewhere else. Now this I'm going to trim up because you really can't have a Sherlock Holmes anything without the phrase the game is afoot because that is totally and unequivocally 
Sherlock. So, what I did wish I could find was my corner rounder, but, you know, we don't always get what we want, do we? Okay. But now I can add it. Add this to Game is a Foot. To my Sherlock journal, which I'm really, 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 really happy for. Really, could you tell? <laughs> yep. Really, 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 really. I wish I knew if I had my gold. I don't think I've got any gold shimmer spray. Let me try. Hey, worst comes to worst, I'll just print off another copy, right? Probably should have printed off two to begin with. That's uh, shimmer. I don't know if I want that shimmer on it or not. Nope, that's too orange. Okay, no shimmer. We'll just make it a little bit old. Or not. That didn't come out looking as good as I wanted it to. And this is going to smear my ink. Not too bad. Well, made it look a little bit older anyway. Okay, so we will set that aside. But that's what we got, and that's what that's for. Anyway, so that's something else to add to the journal. And what's going to be cool is, it's not going to let me. Okay. No. Hmm. See that right there says clues. I'm wondering if I should put that here or here. Probably here. No, and that needs to be a tuck. A tuck within a tuck. Same with that one. Yeah, we're having fun with this one, right? Life is a beautiful mystery. Ooh, I wonder if that would look good. No, too small. No, too big. I had a smaller one. Let's look at the other ones. Oh, Inspector Lestrade. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, no way. Look how they did that. That sucks. Everybody on this side, everybody on that side. Oh, okay, that's just not even funny. You mess up one whole side. Just to get all the people. I guess it's a good thing I got two of these so I can get a little bit of everybody. Mary Morstan. You know what? I believe. Oh, I know what these are. This is so cool. Okay, never mind. I know what I'm doing now that I got my head out of my butt. Let's put that aside for just a minute. That one aside. If, no, that's my small one. I need my big one. If what's happening is what I'm thinking, this is pretty cool. So, we'll see. If not, then, you know, hey, I've got another one, right? Let's 
right here is for making cards yep oh I popped off that green I didn't mean to do that that is not what I intended Yeah, check it out. Master Detective card. On the other side, Sherlock Holmes. Kind of like trading cards. Which is cool. As long as I don't cut off the green, right? <sighs> yeah, see, now right now is where I really wish I had my, my corner rounder. Because this would be fabulous. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Sherlock, the victim. So we've got more inserts. Yay! Okay. That is so cool. Because that really would have stunk if they did, did, you know, all of the players, all of the major players on both sides. So you had to choose one or the other. <clears throat> this way. There is no choosing. Cool beans. I like that. And see something like this leftover could probably go right in here to cover the edges which yeah I have not forgotten about that I think what would be cool is to laminate these and I can get out my laminator and heat it up and make it like playing cards. Check that out. That is so cool. See, one, two. Mycroft. They even have Mycroft in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That is fabulous. Okay, and then we have these that we can use. If the clue fits, it's only 
elementary, it's elementary, it's elementary. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now right here, what we want is a little bit of Nope, that won't match. Well, it will, but I think this will work better right here. Yeah, I like that better. So these two, I'm going to set aside for the inside edges of this. Good grief, good grief. All right, now this are the little bitty pieces that were trimmed off. are like little bitty word scraps that we can put. Now some of them won't work because it was up and down trimming and some didn't even show up so I like that one, that one, that one, that one. All right. So clues, and these little word snippets can look like clues. So that's what I ha that's how I'm going to play them. I'm going to do this as at an angle. Make sure I don't put them on upside down. That just wouldn't even be funny, would it? Okay. Hold on just a second. Okay. Um, let's see. Turn it this way so I can cut it. Huh. Okay, well, 
now we're just embellishing the journal. Oh, yep, that works. I that one better. Nope, I like this side. There we go. Oh, there it says, who done it? If the clue fits. Oh. This is indeed a mystery. I wonder if these fit with the cards. Let me see. Because I might be able to get away. No, they don't. Yes, I really wish I had my corner rounder. Okay, we are probably going to need another pocket. But let's see what the others look like first. Okay, right here. We just put that one right across the front. Which on this one, I'm going to tape. I don't know, sometimes tape sounds better and sometimes the glue sounds better. Wondering if I should back this on something. That might work. Give it a little bit more weight. piece of black. And that kind of looks pretty good backed on the black. So and there we go. Trim it just a little bit more. There. I likes it on the black. I likes it. I likes it. Okay. Ready? The game is afoot. There, I like how that came out. I really do. I really do. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute and I'm going to go check out how sawed my pork chops are. And I will be back. See you in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. We finished off here. I think that came out looking really good right there. Uh, let's see. Here's those cards. There's this little tuck spot. No, I don't like that there. Okay. Let's see. Put that. No, I think we'll leave that alone for now. So which one did we put the flip in? I believe. Yep, it was this one. Okay, so we have the flip in this one. I 
There's this here. One of those like that. Okay, I do want to put something here. Maybe right in through here. Let's see. I've got some old clocks. Cool. Give that a little bit of flair. <clears throat> if it looks too plain, it probably is, right? That one, I think I'll do the same. Tape sticking out. Let me see. Trim that. Okay. Well, I'm thinking this has been about an hour's long video, and I'm gonna probably just go through and add a little bit more washi tape to some of the inside seams. Just for, you know, poops and giggles, like that one might look good right there. A little bit right there. <clears throat> and we'll put some right here. that one. There's this one. Do we want to put any here? Yeah, let's put some here. See, I'm not mixing up the washi tape, like I said, because it gives it cohesiveness. Ouch. I need to put something else here. But I say each signature is not the same as you've seen. Now this one's kind of plain. We really need to put something right here, even if it's just washi tape. <clears throat> Let's see, what do we want to do right here? Let me see, let me see. Oh. I want to put one of these in here. Yes, I believe. I believe. I believe. We also have these. used this one yet. So let's work let's work with this one. See how this one works. Hmm. 
Pencil, pencil, pencil. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, not really see how that goes. On this side. Okay, what do you think? This side folded out or this side folded out? Let's see how it looks in the, I think this side showing up. This one facing out. There we go. Okay, so we've got this one will face out this way, and this one will face out that way. That way it's cohesive but different. I'm going to set this down. We have another washi tape that'll work offhand. this way. That kind of works, don't you think? I wonder if we should do one on this side too. Flip it the other way. And that opens, and that'll open. Yep, might as well.
Sorry for my lack of chatty today. My grandson, the one who came home today, you know, early from school, he used to say when he was thinking real hard, he'd say, I'm mechanicin', Mimi. I'm mechanicin'. I do need to put something here and here. Let's see. I do that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I saw Nick the Booksmith do this, and it was really a really neat idea how she did it, okay? Okay. She put... You know, to do the thing on both sides where you can tie the thread through it to hold them closed. She took the first, the bigger round disc and put and glued a smaller disc underneath. And, and when she did, it makes so much sense. Because that way, when you go to tie the string or the twine around it, it doesn't, um, you, you don't have to fight it so hard to get it because it's raised up a little bit. You don't have to fight so hard to get it around the discs. Now it's probably a little bit thicker than I should use, but you know, hey. I'm going to put this one right here. That one about right there. Okay, now, those are going to take a minute to dry. I put a pretty good amount of glue on there. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Still working on a little bit. I'll probably work on some more um, ephemera. And decorating. You've pretty much seen how I'm doing it. Uh, and then maybe next time we come on, because there will be at least one more obviously, so we can finish it up and put it all together. But uh, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. All that happy jazz. Um, I'm going to let you go, so I'm going to tell you what I say almost every time. Sometimes I forget. But always, always, always find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life really sucks. It really does. So, But I want everybody to have a great day. Hope to see you on next video. And God bless. Bye.